happy Thursday, November 9th. I thought today at school I had written the wrong date on the board. Turns out I just hadn't changed it from the last time I was there. I'm like, is today the 7th? I was like, literally the last class of the day. I'm like, guys, I never changed the date on the board. Can I change it? Yeah, they always want to write on the board. They have to yell at kids constantly for writing on the board. I never wanted to write on the board, but we didn't have like dry erase markers because I'm old. We had chalk usually, <laughs> so I wanted to write on the board. Okay, so Thursday. Weather is a lot nicer. It's very sunny today, but it's cold, which I'm fine with. Um, kids were pretty okay today. It's just a long day. It's a, it's a, you know, 9.30 to 2.30 teaching schedule, and I have kids in the room every single hour of that teaching schedule. So it just makes for a little bit of a long day. And I'm very grateful for the silence that comes at 2.30. I'm like, I love you, but get out. <laughs> Leave me in silence. Um, we did have some mail come. We got some new pajamas from Old Navy because they were running a $9 pajama sale this weekend. They came very quickly. So that was nice. I have fun polar bear ones and then boring plaid ones. A birth My last birthday gift for Colin came today, which is good because I was panicking because his birthday is on Monday and it said it had printed the shipping label and then lo and behold, it was at the post office today. So can't wait for a whole bunch of that in the coming weeks as we get ready to start ordering Christmas gifts. Um, yeah. Oh, just a friendly reminder to check shipping timelines for those Christmas gifts because I was on Dimension 20's store, Dropouts store yesterday and December 8th, I believe, is their cutoff for domestic shipping. So just a public service announcement to check your shipping timelines. That's why this looks weird. My tripod was still like up. So because we hadn't had any yarn mail in the last couple of days, I dug out all my Christmas yarn that is still in skeins that I have not knit with yet this year or ever. <laughs> so that, it'd be kind of fun to go through those. It's going to be hell for show notes for me, but yeah, let's do that. So first up, I have this bag from the Sensible Stitcher, which I have not used. It's got sparkly Christmas trees on it. It's got a cute handle, a little zipper pull that's a snowflake. And then inside, the little stars. So I haven't gotten to use this yet. That's been folded up for a little bit. Sensible stitcher. I have a Tiddly Bakes Progress Keeper that's in here. Looks like it's still wrapped up. I don't know why I haven't opened it. Kind of stashed it and forgot I had it. It's a little melted snowman sugar cookie. Isn't it cute? So yeah, that's <laughs> the Progress Keeper I have yet to bust out for the Christmas season. And then yarn. So I'm going to try and group people together as much as I can so I can just write one set of show notes. But I have, this is Christmas Jammies from a homespun house. Molly is based out of Germany. This is on her, I believe, plump sock. Yep, plump merino sock, which is a 75-25 merino nylon, 480 yards, 120 grams with the mini. So that's Christmas Jammies. I have this skein of chocolate oranges from Dragon Heart. This one's speaking to me right now, big time. Also from Dragon Horde, this sock set is ancient. This is like two years old at this point, almost. This is Disgruntled Gingerbread Man. A couple of minis. The other sock set I had from this order is, you can see them on Vlogmas from 2021, was uh, a groundkeeper's Christmas. It was a Harry Potter-esque one. Yeah, Dragon Horde. Hi, Gigi. Hi. When we got home today, there was a wasp very slowly crawling around on the floor, and Gigi's a terrible hunter, so she just stared at it. It has since been eradicated, so no one panic. I, yes, it has. You did nothing. Yeah, you sat there, stared at it. I have Gaddy Yarn Co., Charlie Brown Christmas. This is on her tabby fingering, which is a 75-25 two-ply superwash merino. I have, let's do fangirl fibers next. This is the advent skein from 2022. All I want for Christmas is toys. This was the Christmas skein from the advent calendar last year. So you've seen this. I just still haven't knit it up yet. I have, this is the only skein that's not wound up. 
from Bumblebee Acres. This is the Abominable Snow Monster, so Rudolph inspired. Cute. I have two skeins from Holly Press Fibers. This is Scandinavian Christmas. It's on a tweed base. It has a mini. This is 35% uh, Superwash BFL, 15% Donegal Nep, and it's 438 yards to 100 grams. I think this just had the one mini on it. I might have to go back and watch because I'm convinced there was two, but I think I'm losing it. So I don't think there was two. And then I also have Fruitcake from Holly Press Fibers. I believe she did a Christmas in July update, which is where I got this one. And that one is from either last year or two years ago. I want to say it was last year. I have a bunch of Holly Press that I need to knit up. Um, speaking of ones I have multiples of, I have Snow Globe from Mandy's Makings. This was the second Sockmas color last year. So this one was Snow Globe and the other one is Handmade Ornament. That's the sock I'm knitting on right now. I also have Christmas Cottage from Mandy's Makings. I also have one called Frosty Scarf, but that's skeined up and or kicked up and upstairs. That needs to be knit up as well. And then I have three kind of random ones. This one is Francophile Knits that I got in a D stash from Nina of the Piers and Pearls, P-Y-R-S and Pearls podcast. It's called Christmas Lights. This is an 8515 Superwash Merino, 437 yards to 100 grams. I have like a little pyramid going. This was my first ever Bad Sheep yarn purchase, in, influenced by Karen. This is a Christmas Carol on their 7525 base. This is gorgeous. I need to knit this. I think this might be my next cast on after I finish something. Yeah. And then, lastly, this is a Mud Punch color that I got in a D-stash from Bernadette. It's uh, one of a kind, and it's called Coco. It is an 80-20 self-striper. Ooh. So that's my Christmas yarn that I haven't knit up or skeined up. I have so much that's skeined up that hasn't been knit that I need to knit on. Huh, Jeej? I walk this crazy tightrope between I don't want to knit socks, I want to knit garments. And then the second I start knitting garments, I want to knit socks. I miss knitting socks. I feel like my sock mojo this year has been way off. I feel like it's too much inventory and not enough mojo. So I guess it's kind of good we haven't gotten a lot of yarn mail in the recent past because I haven't been finishing <laughs> things. So looking at my yarn companies going, God, there's so much pretty stuff. And I like all of it. That's the problem. I don't necessarily want to de-stash it. I want to knit it. What I need to do is de-stash the sock box of socks that I don't wear. There are things like short row heels or, you know, they don't have enough negative ease or they're too short or, you know, this, that, and the other thing. But feel weird de-stashing socks that I've worn. So they'll probably just hang out. I could always go take them to my parents' house so they can live up there for, you know, in case of emergency socks and stuff. Or you can donate them. I can donate them to places. They're not in bad condition. I've just worn them. So I don't know. We'll see. I definitely don't want to like mail them to people. So <laughs> if that was a suggestion, that's not, we're not, we're not going to do that. I don't think. Okay, so tomorrow's Friday. We have class tonight. It's the to, a week from today's graduation. So we will hopefully get to a good spot on our project tonight where we won't have to work it a ton over the weekend. We'll see. I'm sure we'll have to work on it a little bit. Um, yeah, tomorrow, there's no rest for the wicked tomorrow. It's a full day of teaching and then I don't even get my prep hour because I have a behavior coaching session our whole school at that school is getting like coaching on how to build relationships with students better which I'm already pretty good at so the coach is really nice so I don't mind like talking to her and stuff but it's also during my prep hour so I literally have one break <laughs> from 7 55 till 306 for 40 minutes I know I shouldn't complain because that's like a normal like job person's job but I am a teacher, and I get to complain about that kind of stuff. It's in our nature. Huh, Jeej? Like, I would keep asking her. She's not responding. Yeah. Okay. So, 
yeah. Oh, I did decide I'm going to keep going with the Stitch in Time blanket after, you know, reading your guys' comments and stuff and looking at it last night. It's like, yeah, I really do like it. So I'm going to keep going with that. Okay, 10 minutes. That's pretty good. So I hope you had a good Thursday. This will go up Friday morning. And yeah, I'll see you on Saturday morning with the vlog from Friday. So thanks for coming. I'll see you around.